then we can continue to the youngest question first. And then Hala's question, right? We remaining two questions from last class. Any kind of question, yes, yes, yeah, your turn. Because we could not get your question last time. So my question is how to determine the method to design hmm. to solve the problem. The previous experience or other something? Uh, see, this is a, a kind of design class, right? Knowledge based design class. So you, you will learn how to design. But it is only more focused on knowledge based design. But there are other classes for learning about designs. So the how the process of designing there is no single answer I already told to you, right? No single answer. But there are guidelines, many guidelines that we call the methodologies, uh, design methodologies that can be taught in uh, design class. There are separate classes for engineering design right? and also books. And see, this one is coming from, probably coming from uh, programming methodology. But program design, programming, so, software development, software engineering is also, I found, very similar to engineering design. Right? Top down is usually coming in this way that we start from goal, goal state. Right? So I uh, explain about forward chaining and backward chaining. That is similar to For the chaining and backward chaining, uh, and this is similar to no, no, it's reverse way. It, this is top down design, the bottom up design. It's a little bit, but anyway, I will explain and start from a goal or state. Or, right, and arrive at. But this one is start from current status, current state, current state. Start from, start from. Right. I will explain a little bit more, more on on this topic in the later stage. But anyway. Uh, uh, top down means we start from goal. I want to design a, a smartphone for Indian ladies. Right? That is my goal, which will be the best seller right? next year. That is the goal. Then uh, how can I make them? How can I ar arrive at specific smartphone from that goal? Right? The other one is can be, uh, I want to arrive at Busan or Seoul this afternoon. Right? Then how can I arrive at that position? Right? So that is a goal-driven, top-down approach. Or I want to uh, 
deliver such a idea to you so that I want to make a sentence out of them. Sentence is a design, result. The meaning, something I want to deliver to you, the, the, the idea, that is the goal. Right? That is the goal. So that can be the top-down approach, a goal-driven, goal-driven. A bottom-up approach is different. The bottom-up approach is going, say, just a generate and test without any goal in, in mind. Just go ahead, right? So there can be different options to go to Seoul from now. I can choose this door or this door. Two options, right? Maybe <laughs> I can use <laughs> window, but probably not, right? And then, then afterward, then I can choose right hand side or left hand side, right? Corridor, and then staircase. There are several staircases there, right? I can choose them. And then there are options to also to choose taxi or bus or bicycle or working. So branch up, branch up. These are many, many branches can be done from the current state. There is a bottom of and a forward chain, forward chain, starting from current state. But um, then, then it, it's too many, too many, too many options, right? You can generate too many options. So you should reduce that options by using some test, and generate and test. Right? That is kind of still <laughs> not easy <laughs> to understand, right? But you get. But also for the uh, language cases, you just have a number of words and then combining without any, so generate any, any sentence and test and, and choose as kind of for chain. So usually this one is, looks better, but some, depending on the problem, this one is working better. We'll see. But usually, you cho we choose this one. Right? Usually, more more chances. So design is depending on the problem. We choose either way. Sometimes we use both of them. Especially in programming software development cases, we choose we use both of the methodology for the programming software or complex system. That is similar to uh, designing a ship or airplane. This is also a space shuttle. There is very complicated system. So we need to both solve approach different by the numbers. And also starting point, we can start from uh, designing. You can start from scratch, nothing, white, or you can buy something, like reverse engineering. Oh, I start from the reverse engineering. <laughs> Sunjay is not here. Uh, we should explain about more when Sunjay is coming. But we can start from in the middle, right? In the middle. From a very good design, right? Going a little bit further. There is another way. Good way. There is a good way. But sometimes we, we start from the scratch. New idea. So very new concept can be found. If you choose a good design, then you are, you are constrained to them. Stick, stick to them, many cases. So your variation, new ideas cannot come. That this one is uh, uh, attracting you more so that your idea is not working well. Right. So sometimes it's better to from the stretch, scratch. So, no starting, no single. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. So, if we choose the <coughs> method, <coughs> method, method of design, then, okay. And then, how to tell this is the best solution? You, you should test that, you, evaluation. evaluation. Check, interpretation, okay. performance, analysis, right? Many of, uh, many of Cases. Many of designs, among many of designs. You design eight different smartphones. Among, I choose. Among 
think that we choose the best one. Best one. Yes, yes. But generation can be many times. You can generate 10 of you, right? Not only one. You can generate 10 different designs, right? So it can be 80 designs. So oh. there are many, many designs. We, among them, we can choose. Right? Also, by hybriding such ideas, we can arrive at another different combination. We can go on to Hala and then going back to the reverse engine. All right? Okay, good, good. Generative knowledge. Yeah. Generative knowledge, what page is it? There's a picture. Right. Generative knowledge. Right. This is very similar to grammar, grammar, grammatical rules, uh, or the rules for joining uh, Lego blocks. For simple Lego blocks, there is only one, one uh, knowledge, right? one rec constraint, pin and, and plug. So there is a single one. But if you have a high level or, um, ha more advanced kit of Lego blocks, the connection is a little bit more, right? Diverse connections, links and, and others, right? Or bolt sometimes, right? Joining method. So there can be a different connecting, joining rules. Similar to language. Language, you in, in, in uh, language for you are learning English, there are rules, grammatical rules, right? You should put a, a, a verb or, or objective with in, in sequ or correct sequence, something like that, right? Okay. Not all rules. <laughs> rules which apply to that design, right? There are so many regulations. Rules, laws are, are in the world is too many, right? regulations, rules, right? Among them, we choose to apply, which, which can be applied to that design and, and components, components for design. Secondly, as you said, it's at the previous slide, it's not Sorry, say again. Oh, prototype. Okay. Prototype design. No, no. See, we prototype design is designing using prototype. Right? Design method. Prototype design is a design, right? Design using prototype. So it's related. Not it's not same, but it's related. Sorry, say again. Oh, oh, okay. That is different way of using prototype. Right. Right. Can I say that Boeing 747 is a, such a prototype of Moco? No, right? No. Different way. Is a conceptual prototype, something like that. Something like that. But Prototype in, in you are saying mock-up case is similar that there is a very uh, good uh, sample which can be the reference for more uh, later stage of production. Say in the, in that sense is same same. Prototype means a uh, 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 single uh, 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 first. Uh, uh, production. See, uh, say I. I have a concept car. Concept <coughs> car, which is can be realized in ten years. Ten years, but so it, it is very advanced one, right? But I can make a prototype of it. 
hand, handcrafted, handcrafted. But that cannot be produced, mass produced for sale because it's too maybe uh, expensive. Right? But I can make one. Right? That can be a reference for later stage. Right? We call this is a prototype. The meaning is similar, it's more common. Right? But anyway, the prototype is something like a good sample for as a reference for later stage. Right. And that is related to reverse engineering also. Right. Say reverse engineering, I said that Toyota uh, uh, announced new, new hybrid car. Very the best one. Recently, I don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming. I heard from as a Hyundai Motor Company, I run to fly back, fly to the Japan and buy one car <laughs> and bring back to Korea and uh, analyze right, to 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 provide to 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 reduce the gap between current state, right? That kind of thing we call the reverse engine. I mentioned about nice bag, famous bag brand, right? Uh, what is the famous one? <laughs> bag. Huh? Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton, right, okay, Louis Vuitton. And many people make a similar one, right? Especially in China, it's good. Korea was do, doing similar one. Right? That kind of thing is also reverse engine. And that is why we try to learn from good design, right? The idea behind it. So it's similar to prototype design. We use the very advanced new product as a prototype and then try to uh, uh, make a similar one or try to make advanced from that as a starting point. Right? So that is Reverse engineering is similar to. So I, we are trying to analyze many, many different ways. We can test, we can measure, we can try performance, right? Many, many things we analyze of that new product I just bought. Louis Vuitton, similar, right? What can be the leather, the thickness, what can be the smell, what can be the color, what can be the decoration, right? And what can be the uh, joining uh, stitching method, right? We can learn from them, right? And then try to do similar product myself. Good question. Any other question? No. Then we go on to the new slide. And I stop this one because we can continue next week. So I uh, combined two sets as, a, as new, new slides. One is coming from my original uh, slide set from three years ago. That is only five slides, which explains about neural network. And then about TensorFlow, I found a good, good paper from the internet. So I summarized them. So that's it, only two is combined for today. But it can be a good guide for uh, newcomers, including myself. <laughs> okay. So this is a whole book of uh, the textbook. And in the last uh, chapter is about learning and creativity. And among inside this chapter, there is a neural network session. Because this is a book of, say, 1990, 17 years ago. So at that time, neural network is an emerging technology. Right. All right, this is a, a sec subsection of chapter eight. And among them, only one is neural network. Right. The other one is uh, learning, acquisition, Interpreting knowledge, generative knowledge. You, you asked about what is the generative knowledge, but they are saying, how can I get 
generate knowledge, right? And analytical reasoning, neural network, and, and design creativity. Okay, so I can go on to the subsection of neural network, right? of learning and design. Right? So what is a neural network? And the, they, the book provides a simple model of pattern association or pattern recognition. This is uh, making or combining, combining patterns. And com pattern completion is a sample for using a uh, neural network. I put some more <laughs> images coming from Google this morning. <laughs> So, to, to, uh, include. so you can get this slide later. So this is a neuron. One set of neuron is from here to there, right? So this shows the two neurons, two neurons, how they connected each other and sending signals, right? So one, two neurons are communicated. Right? So neural network is trying to uh, mimic mimic or similar, uh, uh, try to make a computer working as our brain, right? By using analogy of, analogical uh, or biology. Right? And they found that this cell is very simple. And communication is also very simple. Right? So we, then we can do that. Also they are saying, biologists say, there are so many neurons in our brain, right? Simple, but so many. And connected, very complicated. And message signals are very simple. But they're doing, collectively, they are doing very good work, right, as a brain. So computer is good in, in terms of many and fast, right? So we can do that. So that's why the idea coming from neural network. So this is, can be an idea sketch of computer connected, say this is a network actually, this is a network. Right? No, then, uh, uh, okay. mm. network is made of no, then, what is it, line? No, not line. I cannot remember the correct word of line. No, then, what is this? We call this link. All right, link. <laughs> and anyway, the, all any network system is made of right, node and link, right, line between them. So this is three-dimensional, right? similar to new, uh, neurons, uh, neuron network in, inside br brain. So they want to make a similar thing in in. A computer, right? And this is a, a outline of neural network concept. So there is a, a layers or levels. Many people are saying layer, but it, they are, this picture shows a level. Input and output. Right? Input and output. Input. And then among them, there is hidden layers. Hidden layers. You can choose from your. Usually, there is only two or three hidden layers. Sometimes they use only single hidden layers. So simple. Also, how many uh, nodes for input and output? But input output is dependent on, dependent on your problem. So it's usually you can decide on this. Or it, it is given because of the problem is you already describe your problem, then it usually comes as a uh, but hidden layers is dependent on your, of your design, or design of your neural network. And each node, for each node, right, for each node, there is a combination of uh, uh, connected node or neuron. Right? Values, values of connected uh, neuron. And also the link has weighting factor, weighting factor and the values of variable value in the node and the weighting factor of a link are changing, changing. 
through the learning cycle. Through the learning cycle. Very simple. But when, when it is fully learned, then the, the values are fixed. Then you just learn the system and produce output. Okay. So I'm trying to recognize uh, image of 11 o'clock now, right? It will be coming for this slide set. Okay. Then we need to uh, design our neural network and train them. Through the training, the values into the node and links are changing, adapting to the problem set. Yeah. Once it's finished, then value is finished, fixed. And then we just use it. Yeah. Easy, right? Easy. So values and weight, uh, lengths and weighting factor and sigma, that produce the value of this node, right? And then this node value can be also used for other nodes. Very simple. Okay, neural network model. So this one is for designing, right? So not general neural network. Knowledge about design is represented as patterns that can, is used coming from the previous, pre, previous chapters. And in, in any network, in any network, there is a store, there's a weight and threshold values in a network. I did not explain about threshold values. But each, each node also have a threshold values. If value is bigger than the sigma value, the sigma value, When do, do, do you have a com, uh, add all as a sigma value? You, you arrive at one value, right? If this value is less than threshold, you neglect. Neglect. Or if it's bigger than threshold, then you pass to the next one. Yeah. That is threshold. You can uh, design your threshold for each node. But sometimes this threshold can be also uh, um, changes as a training set. So it's as a stored in the, and parameters of the system are weights on the arc, ah, they are saying arc, okay. less than link, right? arc. And threshold values on the units. This is a node, right? Node. So value of the node. And input and output values. This is a far end of starting point, starting layer, and ending layers, right? That's it. So this is simple uh, model pattern association. Pattern association. So there is a uh, input layer and output, no, no hidden layer here, right? no hidden layer. And threshold value is zero. So, uh, it should be zero here. Maybe, it uh, should be zero, I guess. Well, anyway. There is no combination, no no sig sigma patterns. But they may just add. Uh, there is no equation for this. But anyway, they are because the threshold value is zero. Any any value can be one. Right? So that is simple. One and zero pattern recognition. Probably that is coming from black and white image. Black and white image. So zero and one is important. The other is not important. Okay, and also, uh, ah, ah, sorry. This is a weighting factor, I guess. This is a weighting factor, right? So this is input, a weighting factor, uh, multiplied by weighting factor, arrive at zero here, right? This is uh, 
one by one, one multiplied by one, and then arrive at one, and zero <coughs> multiplied by one is zero, arrive at zero. So only this one is, gives you one, but threshold is zero, so that is good. So the input, different input parameters than before. Right. This is right. This is weight weight factor at the arc or link. Right. The input is different. And because there is a threshold of one. And that gives you zero because that is produce zero, zero, and zero. So threshold is higher, so it can produce zero now. Uh, threshold values are adjusted. Okay, they change threshold values. And pattern completion. So visual perception, they use a visual perception as 2D array because it is a black and white pattern, so it can be a 2D array. Uh, right, this one, 2D array. Right? So it is can be a 0 or 1. Right? I can say... Uh, Let's say this is one. This is zero. Right? Black is zero. And the black is one. And zero is white. Right? So it's enough to have a two D array or one bit of each memory. But if you want to have a color image, color image, this one is very similar. That this screen or this this screen too. Right? Or my computer. My computer is maybe probably uh, 1200 by six, something like that. Is it correct? <laughs> Similarly, right? The resolution we call the resolution, right? resolution. So it's a kind of a array of small uh, picture element we call pixel. pixel. So we call this is a megapixel uh, uh, display, megapixel. Mega is a million. It's almost a million, right? Almost a million. Thousand by thousand is a million, right? So a million pixels in, on my, uh, my uh, notebook. But if you assign a color to each pixel, then you need more memory per pixel, right? So if you choose 8 bit 8 bit uh, 8 bit memory per pixel then you can provide 256 different colors but there are more there are more say 16 bit or now so 13 32 bit something like no 2 <laughs> above 32 sorry This one should be uh, this way. Different colors. Uh, this one is 256. Uh, so my notebook, I, I don't know exactly, but has this, this kind of memory for pixel, for pixel. So they are saying this is three-dimensional array. But this one is only two-dimensional array. Because there are each pixel has a depth of 32 bit, right? the three dimensional depth. That will be uh, explained in later. But anyway, uh, by using this is a, a, a training training patterns training patterns learning patterns patterns. And then this is a test for input new set of input, and then they arrive at this output array. I don't have the details inside my slides yet, but that kind of thing is we trying to use a pattern recognition. This is coming probably 
Uh, remember that uh, the sample is coming from the author of this book is uh, uh, architect, departmental architect of, of uh, Aust Australia, Sydney, Sydney, University of Sydney. So they, they are uh, uh, interested in designing of patterns like uh, mosaic or uh, pattern of buildings, rooms, right? room arrangement, is similar to this kind of. So they want to uh, design such a pattern. But I cannot remember the well. Okay, so that's it from my slide from uh, the textbook. This is coming from a new uh, one single paper I found from internet several, several days ago. Right. Implementing neural network using TensorFlow. So keyword was machine learning and py Python is a pro programming language. Have you heard about Python? Uh, can you do programming on Python? Good. Good. <laughs> I guess this will be <laughs> needed <laughs> for your Tom project. But you can have a two or three teams so you can separate out who can program it, right? Then it's okay. And this is also right? over the paper. You can see more. So this is a logo of TensorFlow. And the, the paper is made of when we use neural network. So the problem which is fitting to good, good for neural, using neural network. Right? Set of problems. And then how can we uh, solve problems which should be fit to the neural network, network ways of solving and the image data they also use image data as a input or libraries to solve it right so image data how they so I, we are understanding the image from the clock is this is 11 o'clock 12 minutes right we know that Right. But how can you computer can do that? Or how can I neural network can do that? Right. That is, we need to, how can we understand the image data? What is TensorFlow? And what is flow inside that? And neural network in TensorFlow, limitations, other libraries, and that is formation of paper. Question? Any question? So image recognition or speech and natural language processing, that is the big area of research where neural network is good. So you can do similar things, right? Image recognition, image recognition, speech recognition, language recognition related. But I'm trying to use, I want to, to use, or you can, you, you, I hope you, you use for design, engineering design, right? Neural networks require data, especially big data, right? for the training, for the training. There is a different type of neural networks, recurrent and convolutional. We learn, we learn. I don't know yet <laughs> either. But also the research on neural network is booming now. So there are so many new ideas coming. So it will not be easy to learn all of them. We will see that. And hardware is important for good neural network. You, you pro probably Koreans know about the uh, AlphaGo case. They, we learned that they, at the game, they use a, a big machine from the, probably outside of Korea, <laughs> connected to, right? The supercomputer is behind, right? So hardware is important to, to be a good neural network. So I found this morning what is recurrent network and convolution network by still learning about this. But I, my understanding up to now is this is, there is also they use forward uh, uh, moving network. This is a network, so it's directions, directional of calculation 
or, or uh, neuron, neuron send signals, right? The way, the, the direction of sending signals. So they are saying, this is a forward way, right? Forward way. But we can't say this is a backward way sometimes. But they are saying cyclic, cyclic. So also they use also backward prop uh, propagation something. Neural so there are many, many variations of neural network. But the simple, simplest one is just forward going, sending, right? forward, forward propagation. This is a convolution, so it is more traditional, traditional, one way, one way. But recurrent is a little bit more complicated. Cycle, returning back. Uh, one, one uh, I did not get well still, but I'm still learning, but they are saying for to adjust because of training, you modify something, right? Change something. To get more efficient modification, they use that kind of recurrent uh, backward propagation for something which is very critical or big mistake. They may use that. We will see that. This is slide set I found from college, where is it? I cannot read this. us. Oh, is this Korea? University of Ulsan, <laughs> College of Medicine, something. Oh, okay. I found from Google today. Convolutional, I say feed forward, right? Forward going neural network inspired by a biological process, neuron, neuron. And weight, weight, uh, the arc has weight, right? And subsampling, I don't know. Okay. General way to solve problems with neural network. So neural network is a, a, a kind of, one part of machine learning. There are so many different methods for uh, machine learning. Uh, so machine learning can be artificial intelligence. Right? Machine learns knowledge and then solve problems. There's the idea behind, right? So machine learning is very similar to artificial intelligence. And neural network is one kind of special type of machine learning. Right? So, how to solve using neural network, you should check whether the problem is good for or uh, fitting to neural network. Right? And you need to find out good architecture, correct architecture, convolutional, recurrent, or there are more variations, right? architecture, or how many hidden layers. Right? So you should define the neural network architecture. How many hidden layers, how many nodes, numbers, and, and then train the model. Then, then you need a big data here right, to train. And then finally you test and use them afterward, use. Image data, okay, image data, raster image. Uh, raster image is, is made of pixels, right, pixels. Megapixels, raster image. All we are using now graphics is rest, rest. But there is also vector graphics. You may not see this. Pen and pencil drawing is a vector graphics. See? Starting point, line, and ending point. <coughs> Starting point. Only pens. Have you seen anybody? Pen plata? Pen plata? Hmm. Yes? Pen plata? Okay. In old days, 20 years ago, there was only pamphlets over the drawings, CAD drawings, right? pamphlet. Now all changed to raster graphics because of the high resolution. Before then, the resolution was low, right? only 100, 20, 200, 200 by 200. Dot matrix printer, dot matrix printer. Do you know that? Dot dot matrix printer, 
there is very noisy right? dot matrix printer. So one character is made of. But now we are using very high resolution laser printer of say six DPI. Pi dot per inch, right, dot per inch. Laser point, laser printer resolution. Laser printer. One inch is divided by three, six hundred small dots. Very high resolution, right? Thousand is still coming. Then it's okay. We can draw lines using only dots because dot is too small. It looks like a clean line, right? But if you have a rough, low resolution, line is jagged because of big pixels, right? Like this previous one, uh, previous. Uh, this one, this one. They want to draw a line, right? but if resolution is low, it looks like this one. But the high resolution gives you Okay, so three dimensional I already because this is color, right? So depth, color depth, 32 bit, 32 bit. Right? And in early days of pattern recognition, image data using computer, people, the program developers try to break down the image into structures like as position of eye, shape of uh, face, of, uh, and this, right? Analyzed. That is natural. But that kind of method, approach was not good. But still good until, until this year. But in this year, there is a big breakup that Neuronet wins the uh, challenge contest. They beat the method coming from this way. Right? Algorithmic way, we say this algorithmic way. This is a, so inside a neural net, we don't know what is inside in the neural net. We, we call this a black box. After training, but I don't know. There is a, a bunch of numbers only. Right? But they produce good results. We don't know it. Right? It's a black box. Still is good. But in this way, we know that reasoning, right? This is, in this way, this is, we know inside how we arrive at the, the conclusion, right? Because the structure is also analyzed. This is also, uh, I, that up to now, uh, this is a new slide set coming. In, how many? This is 20 years ago. Right, 20 years ago. Deep Blue was a chess playing computer from IBM. He, the machine, won the game with world champion of chess from Russia. And two years ago, <laughs> Google. One years ago? Two years ago. AlphaGo wins the world champion Go player. And there are also two ways of making such a, a chess game software. One is algorithmic way. The other one is brute force calculation way. Uh, algorithmic way is similar to mimic the human Human thinking, human thinking. Yeah. King is important, and there, there is uh, the uh, position. So we have a strategy, right? That kind of algorithm way, or clever way. But brute force method is just calculate any possibilities, all the possibilities. So current position, I can move to this way and this way and this way. Right? 
And then afterwards, there is two ways, two ways, right? I don't know. <laughs> All combination is calculated. And among them, choose the best one. That is a brute, brute force way. Right? No clever uh, algorithmic uh, uh, high level <laughs> intelligence. But the brute force method is one. Because of the computer is fast and big. Now AlphaGo, once again, once again, more complicated, because Go has 19 lines and 19 columns, the combination is too much for this machine, deep blue. So that chess is smaller scale comparing to the goal. That's why they can do brute force method. They can calculate all at the within time frame. Right? Now AlphaGo, because of computer is growing fast, supercomputer do much, much more calculations. Still, still they could not calculate all combination for the goal within time, time limit. So they use both of them, algorithmic way and, and also calculation way, together. That's how they use. Right? So they they are saying pruning. Pruning means say, as I told you that when I go trying to go to the soul, there are so many different branches. Right? So I I should test in the middle to cut off. This one is to is going back going to the South way, not north way. So I don't want this going further, right? So we call it cutting branches, pruning. We call it pruning. So many combination trees, right? So many combination trees, Ford, Ford, and bottom up, right? Combinations. But pruning can reduce calculations, efficiency, right? For the pruning, they use neural network for the AlphaGo, right? So that within the time limitation, they choose the best solution and do go, go decision. All right. Okay, popular deep learning libraries. There is a uh, AlphaGo, for the AlphaGo, the Python. But there are also other languages similar to Python, is Lua, Java, and MATLAB. But this is libraries competing each other uh, with the TensorFlow. Right? Some of them are, are commercial. You should pay money. Right? What is TensorFlow? Uh, official definition is uh, complicated for me. Right? But anyway, for AI. But simply, it's saying simply, classify TensorFlow as a neural network library. But also, it is more than neural network. TensorFlow is more than neural network. But simply say, easily, then we can say this, neural network library. You can build other machine learning, right? Neural network is a kind of machine learning, right? On using uh, 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 TensorFlow, you can build other machine learning. A decision tree or nearest neighbor. Oh, he's moving. Good. <laughs> okay. I copied the image, but I don't know whether it's moving. Ah. So it's uh, image coming from neural network. No, no TensorFlow. TensorFlow. you can get the same moving image from the site. Right? Flow, what is flow? Uh, there is a, you should, a kind of computational graph, computational graph. This is graph, but neural network is computational graph. You should in, initialize the variable. Variables in, in node and, and arc, and create session, you run graph in session. I don't know the session or the session. Then tensor has some such a name. And implementing. So 
feed forward. Feed forward is convolutional, right? Convolutional, multi-layer perception, multi-layer, hidden layers, hidden layers. So you should define architecture and and data is uh, into the neural net for training, training and test on a new data. New data means that data that, data, that uh, does not belongs to training data set. For the training, you need to have a big data, yeah. big training, big, many, many training. So when you uh, remember how to learn English or Korean, you should train yourself. 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요. Right? And then teacher say, no, 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 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요. Right? Right. That's train, many, many train. Then by using that one, probably your neural, <laughs> neural, net, neural net is changing the values, right? And then new data is coming, right? <laughs> that is different one, you, you do not do this. But by learning different things, you can do new sentences, right? Image recognition to identify digit from a given. That is a sample problem inside the paper to recognize this image and say result should be three. Yeah. Given the image, the neural net should solve the problem by saying that this is number three. So he's saying this is an array of this image. Yeah is a uh, uh, color values. Right? So this is black and white, but still these are gray tones. It's gray tones. So it can be a color, right? Not single bit. Right? Multiple values. So, and if you have a, a big data, they, he uh, recommended you divide them into seven to three portion, and seven for training, and three for validation, right? You, you have a one million set of images for data, big data, coming from your smartphone, <laughs> then it's good to divide them into seven to three portion. And using train set, you train, afterwards you test them using this one. And then finish. And then you use them for another new data. We don't know yet, we don't know. New image coming right? every time. Three layers, input, hidden, and output. So one single hidden layer. Right? There is a recommendation coming from this paper. Number of neurons, node, Number of nodes, input and output are fixed because this is image data of this array size, right? This one, this one is only 28, 28. Right? So fixed. Also, the output should be one single digit. So it is only 10. Zero, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, right? They will use only one digit image of number, right? So output should be simple. And there are 500 neurons in the hidden layer. But his choice, but you can choose different one. So that is your decision. Okay, limitations, TensorFlow, still it is a low level library of neural network library. So if you have a chance to use libraries for your programming, yes, mess libraries, mess libraries, yes, kind of. So you don't know what is library in computer, computer programming, right? No. Yes. No. Yes. The libraries, but I haven't used. Oh, you know what is the library, but you, you you don't have experience for using them. How about you? You don't know. You, you are not familiar with the programming. Okay. So you choose good member <laughs> for your term <tongue> project. <laughs> okay. 
Math library, say there is a cosine, sine, integral, there are so many functions. Right? For the programming, you choose that specific function for your program. Then that library gives you the, the wanted function. Consign, cosine calculation, sine calculation, multiplication, integration, other things. Right? There are so many set of functions, library, we call it a library. You can collect. So TensorFlow is a set of functions of you can use for building your own neural network or machine learning program. Okay? But still is a low level library. library. You should know how to use them, how to combine them, use and then pr produce your own program. So still you need how to programming, how to use Python, how to use TensorFlow library, how to call and connect and combine and compile and there are more things, right? So it's a machine level, something like a language, right? Something like a language. There's a low level, means low level. You need to do more grammar and then also experience and other things, right? But for most of the purpose, you need a high level interface such as Keras. I don't know about Keras, I will find out. So anyway, you need a high level because it's a low level, still low level. You can do anything. So you, you, you do you know the programming language? Programming hmm. Yeah. Which, which language? I, I use, I, I use C. C? And then I some work with MATLAB. MATLAB, good, good. So there is a C. C language you learned, right? You can do anything using C, right? But this is still low level. You, you need more things to provide a software, neural network, or something, CAD, or other software, Excel program. Can you make Excel program using C? Yes, but it takes time. <laughs> yeah, here's, they are saying, right? So we need more high level interface which help us to build software, complicated software better, quickly. So there is, uh, they are saying API, API, application programming interface. There is a kind of a high level interface sometimes or not. Also, you need a good hardware. So you should have a good computer for this term project. TensorFlow and other libraries, you already uh, explained in sl previous slide. There is a commercial library such as, this one is appeared before, right? Deep Learning 4J. But this one is new, H2O and QD. Also there is APIs, right? Interface, language interface, Python, C++, MATLAB, right? There has been a Lua in the previous slide. Also, there is also recent search for support for other languages such as Ruby and R. This is another kind of languages, new languages that gives you an API for TensorFlow. Okay, okay there's my final slide, useful resources. You go to the official repository. And there is another good paper or video, video, dance flow for everyone, okay. And then curate list of dedicated resources. Good. Question? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if the testing doesn't work. Testing doesn't work. If, yeah. Do we have to do the training again? Or right. Right. And so if we do 70% in data, 30% mm. testing, uh, mm. 70, 20, yeah. 30%. Right. Which means the same 70? No, no. You no, no, you change uh, everything. everything. Right. Okay. You may change the architecture. Mm. You may change the number of nodes or number of hidden layers. And also, you may need more data, right? 
because if you learned Korean language one month, still is not working. <laughs> then what you need to do? Right? You need more more exercise. Another book, another teacher. Right? Can do it. Very similar. Right. Very similar. Can we change the program? If learning doesn't work, can we uh, edit the program and then start uh, the program for learning as well? Sorry, say again. If, we, uh, if learning doesn't work. If learning does not work, yeah. We can change the program. We can change the program. Yes, yes. We can. You can do many, many things. But you can do from the start, or you can do from the middle, or we can do the final difference. But there are different ways, right? But depending on the problem, <laughs> depending on the situation, it's too, it's too low for your expectation. Then you should change everything. Right? You find that is it ninety percent good, right? Then you can do a little bit more test or training, right? Using same architecture. So depending on the situation, you can choose different ways. I have a question. Like in one of the first slides, when you talk about like the nodes and the links, mm. there would be sigma. I mm. didn't understand exactly what it is. And oh, oh, okay, okay. This one, this one, this one. Yeah. Right. This node is connected from to this three node, right? Okay. Each one has a value. Okay. I don't know. You you, you said as a set yes. or oh, input input data right? input data. And what can be the value of this node? You need to calculation. What kind of calculation is this one? Uh, it's like the function you use. For the calculating value at this node. Uh, so like you calculate, like sigma is what you use to calculate maybe the calculation, and mm. like f is the result that you put out. Where is the f? The, the bracket. F, oh, OK, OK. Right. 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 This is the value, right? But there, be, there should be more complicated calculations. I don't know. But usually, is it uh, in incoming node values and weighting factor in the arc uh -huh. by multiplying this one and then adding all of them? That is the value of this node. It is the simplest way. Simplest. Way. But you can do more complicated way. But the simplest one is just input value, weighting factor in the arc. Multiply and add all of them in coming one. Okay. The sigma. The, the only calculation that you make is multiplying. Multiplying and, and adding. Right. That is the simplest form. Ah, okay. But right. I can do also different calculations. Right, 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 right. Because before you said also that if the value as an input are like less. Oh, threshold, threshold. Yes. Yeah, the threshold, yeah. Right. Threshold is set. But this one is not explaining about threshold. Right. Depending on your definition of threshold, what, what will you do after testing? This is a testing, right? A kind of testing. Threshold is a kind of testing, right? Threshold value is, say, I say this is 5, right? Above 5, it's, it can be, you can send, your decision can be 1. Below 5, it can be 0, mm -hmm. depending on your, your, your design. Right. If the design is, if you above that 5, then just send the same value as, say, 9.3 as, as output. Or below then, we can send 0. I don't know, but it's depending on your design. Your ah, so when you said that if it's lower, you neglect it? It depends on, depends on your, your uh, uh, designing yeah, of neural like network. There is no fixed rule. Uh, okay, there is okay, no okay. fixed rule. The one sample was there. Uh, one okay. sample. Or there are maybe no threshold. <laughs> okay. Just sending. Right.
no more question. Okay, time is up. All right, see you on this is Wednesday. <laughs> so I'll see you on next Wednesday. Well, you will have another Monday class without me. Okay.